Hi, it's Corrine, and I have a beautiful mini album to share with you today. I filmed the designing of this album, which I will play here in just a moment, but I did not film making the album itself. It just would have taken too long. I worked on this for a few days in a row. So I do have a mini album tutorial series that I show how I make my mini albums. I will put a link to that in the description box below. And this album is a little bit different size than the mini album tutorial. So I did jot down the sizes that I used to make this mini album and I will put those on my blog. So it's not going to be a full set of instructions of how to make a mini album since I have such a de detailed tutorial series on my channel for it, but it's going to be the sizes of this exact album. So if you want to make one yourself, then check out my blog. You'll see a link in the description box below and you'll find the measurements for this. And then if you've never made a mini album before, go ahead and check out my mini album tutorial series that you'll find a link for. I will also link all of the gorgeous products that I use today. I use lots of Wild Orchid Craft products and I also used a paper collection from Knitwit Collections. This is called the Ooh La La paper collection and I got the bundle pack so it includes lots of elements in that and I'll go through that but everything you see in here paper wise is from that same collection. So on the front here this paper and if you saw another um, video that I did where I, I showed Knitwit Collections and this collection in particular this paper actually comes with the flower cluster on the top and that's one of the things I like about using a digital paper pack is I wanted it on the left side of my album. So in my Silhouette Cameo Design Center, which you can do on Word, uh, Photoshop, any, t any program you like to work with, I just moved it to the side and that way I had my cluster going down the left side. So I also cut out a few of their roses. This is from their Element Pack and I layered them behind the gorgeous gardenias from Wild Orchid Crafts. I also have some sweetheart blossoms and some hip rose buds. I added a flat back pearl diamond in the center of this. And I added some flat back pearls up here. This Eiffel Tower, I cut out four different layers of black cardstock to go under it. That way it gives it a chipboard thickness. And this is also from the Element Pack along with this gorgeous butterfly. I did double the cardstock on that as well. I glued another piece behind it just to give it some strength. This is one of their digital stamps, so I just placed it on top of the pattern paper. Again, I love being able to um, suit your needs. So I wanted a round circle, so I put, like I said, I put it on um, pattern paper and then cut it out. This here is a little postage stamp. Again, sized it down, added it to some design paper underneath. On the side here, I used some gorgeous trim from Hobby Lobby and I added some flower uh, flat back trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. Here is the back. And as you can see, I made it out of my album out of black cardstock. It's a 65 pound weight cardstock. I used Kathy Orta's Hidden Hinge Binding System. I did mine a little bit different. I didn't do the wings on the end, but I gave myself a half inch gusset. And on the front here, I made a little pocket adding the design paper using one of their digital stamps. It says Paris is always a good idea, Audrey Hepburn. I added a tiny little bow from the same paper collection, added an open rose to the center. I have this adorable poodle that I backed with several pieces of cardstock, again giving myself a chipboard thickness. I added two of their labels here and added some flat back pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this is actually the paper that's on the front of the album, but I made it a little bit larger. I scaled it up. When you buy their collections, their patterns, like say this poodle, comes big enough that you could use for a 12 by 12 so it comes very large that way when you scale it down you're not gonna it's not gonna get distorted you're gonna have a beautiful image every time you do that so I was able to you're able to scale up the the um, designs for whatever size mini album you want to use and you're gonna get a beautiful image every time that's why I like using digital I added a digital stamp here and then to the pocket I have a few little tickets Again, these are all the same size, but I was able to customize them to what sizes I wanted. And just to reiterate, I, I um, inked everything in this with black soot distress ink. 
This little pocket was from a cut that I had in my cameo. On this side, I made a little photo mat and using the same paper collection, I just scaled this design up, I think by 300%. And then the one you see behind it is the normal 100%. I added a bow and I added a diamond circle with a flat back pearl in the center from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I did put a little piece on here because I wanted this bow on here. That, that way it won't get in the place of um, the person that wants to place a photo. They'll still be able to slide their photo behind. And these are just little templates for photos later in the album. <clears throat> Excuse me, later in the album that you'll see. And this entire piece, I um, put some chipboard behind it so to give it just slight dimension. Every pocket is a pull-out mat. I designed this on the Cameo. It has a bracket edge. That way more photos can be placed. I won't pull them all out, but they're all the same except I alternated if the tab was on the top, the bottom, or the middle. This album has, has five pages. On this side, I made a accordion style album. I used some beautiful vintage seam binding from Wild Orchid Crafts in the um, pink tulip. I added one of the large postage stamps. So as you can see, here is the postage stamp here real tiny and then I enlarged it here so again it looks like two different things because they're different sizes so you pull this out and it's an accordion so lots more photos so just on this page alone you can get six photos on this side I made a bracket pocket I used one of their tags in here one of the labels and I added these little diamond flowers with diamond centers This paper here is just gorgeous. I just changed it so it, the flowers would be on the pocket. Again, I was able to customize it. Look at this beautiful paper. To the pocket, I added a large um, postage stamp. I backed it with some of the pink paper, then a white mat and a black mat. So on the back, a photo can be placed. Photos can be placed in the pocket as well. I added another little one, and I, as you can see on this one, I have the postage stamp. On this one, I did not. And I also made it in two different sizes, so it gives it a little bit different look. I added a bow from the same paper collection and one of the rhinestone embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts to the center. This, I made um, the ticket large and backed it on a piece of black cardstock. So journaling can be placed on the back with either a silver pen or a white gel pen. On this side, I made a belly band and I used some gorgeous lace from Wild Orchid Crafts and then some of the uh, organza trimming and small on top of that. And I placed that on top of the uh, pattern paper and then matted it with black. I have another large postage stamp and a small one and a ticket. Again, photos can be placed on all of these or journaling. So there's just light in here, and also photos can be placed in this belly band as well. To this pocket, I just did a straight pocket, used the gorgeous paper again, and I used one of their labels, added some flat back pearls, and I added a pink backing to it. This heart here, they have several hearts in their element pack. That's one of them. And again, I added some more cardstock behind it to give it a chipboard feel. I used this lace border. This is, comes in their element pack, and look how pretty it is. It has a little lace border, and then I added some flat back pearls to it. Photos can be placed in the pocket. I added a large mat, and I know I have this somewhere else in here, but this um, pattern, I scaled it up to like 300%, again, giving myself a little bit different look. Put it on a black mat. And then this pattern paper is, I know I have it somewhere in here. Um, no, I, I must have it somewhere in here, but this I scaled down. So, because I knew I wanted it on a tag, so I wanted it small. Again, added a black mat to it. And this is one, one of their tags that comes in the element pack. I added a few of the flowers in paper to it and then an open rose and some sweetheart blossoms. 
On this page I made another bracket style pocket. I added a postage stamp with a bow and a pearl brad from Wild Orchid Crafts. I also tied a little twine on here. Here's the paper I was talking about. So I scaled it way up on this mat and then this is the normal. So it gives me two different looks. To the pocket I have a little postcard. I love this. I used it twice in this album. Backed it on some black mat. Um, here's the other postcard actually. Much larger size. So these are great to add photos to or journaling. Photos can be placed in the pocket as well. And look at this paint chip from their Element collection. And I love that all the work is done. You, you don't have to worry about coordinating. Everything coordinates. So on this side, I used a half of a heart for a pocket. I added some of the flowers from the um, collection and a couple of pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I added a mat behind it. I added the pattern paper. Then there's they have solid papers that come in their bundle pack. I added a solid paper and then a black mat. And again, photos can be placed behind here as well. On this side, I wanted to leave this cluster of flowers alone. So I added a frame down here and I did cut out a template so the person can cut out their frame and slide it right behind this Florida Lee. This is a Florida Lee from the collection and I added one of the Wild Orchid Crafts pearl with the diamond center or diamond circle and then on this side I did another um, banner here with that lace paper added a Florida de lis and look at this Eiffel Tower from Wild Orchid Crafts that fit perfectly in there it's an epoxy sticker I originally pr printed out they come with these alphabet letters and also numbers with the design in them. I printed that out directly on the paper, but I decided I wanted a little lift to them, so then I just cut them out and added it right on top. You'll see that in the video. Again, this Florida Lee, I back this one on black so it had a shadow. Added some more tickets with a clip to it. Again, great for journaling. And then this mat, I added a beautiful antique bronze uh, piece from Wild Orchid Crafts along with an open rose and the pattern paper with a solid paper from the collection and then a black mat. On the last page I made a diagonal pocket out of black. I used some of this gorgeous box pleated um, lace and some flat back pearls. I love this paper against the black is just absolutely gorgeous for the pocket I used a large ticket and I also used some DCWV glitzy glitter cardstock in the pink added a bow and this beautiful embellishment from Wild Orchid Crafts and on the last page I trimmed it off in flat back pearls I added a oval frame again filling it in with the paper collection and I added some Sweetheart Blossoms to it, some leaves, this beautiful ivory heart. And then this lamp post is also from the Embellishment Collection. I added some glossy accents to the top. I sized it perfectly for this paper, added a bow, and used one of these gorgeous um, pieces from Wild Orchid Crafts. Look at that little heart, it's so pretty. And then that's the other template, so whoever gets this album can use this and slip their picture in, and then if they want to, they can add a little glue to the top of this to adhere it down. So that is my book. Check out my blog post for the exact sizes that I used to cut out. Check out my mini album tutorial if you want to see how to make a mini album like this. And please stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. I will have a list of all the beautiful products I used. And also stop by Knitwit Collections. They have lots of digital paper packs to choose from. Thanks for watching and I hope you stay tuned for the embellishment portion.